we're back on Smells Like. Let's just call the show Smells Like from now on. Smells Like. And you can just, you can just, it's your you own interpretation, yeah. man. You just decide what it smells like. You can just like. Mad Lib. You can use Mad Lib and fill in that blank with whatever adjective you That's feel is right. appropriate. Whatever you feel like, man. It's artistic, man. Or smells like. <laughs> yeah, that's artistic. <laughs> smells like. <laughs> smells like hemorrhoids. Oh, yes. Smells like uh, winter jam. Oh, that was a low blow. Smells like, I'm pretty sure everybody's gone. Uh, right it now. is. And n- none of them listen to this show. No. God, there were so many church groups that came out of, that pouring out of Thompson Bowling tonight, I swear. I did. Yeah, there were. There's a, a lot of vans. them, man. There's a lot of them. My but, aunt once stole a church van when she was a teenager. Train? What? Train? No. No? Different, different ones. One. <laughs> it's just, it's just, I, look, <clears throat> excuse me. You are a very talented writer. I think you should sit down and write screenplay for like a sitcom. <laughs> and everyone in your family is involved. Has to play a part. I mean, they, they don't have. I mean, obviously, your real family members aren't going to be in the movie or be in the show. But you you hire actors to play right. their type. So you got the one. I want it to be like a short film, though. Okay, a short film even. And you just you just introduce everybody, and for you know a few minutes, you just you you, you evaluate all the eccentricities of everyone in your family. So you get the one that got hit by the train, and then you got the one who stole the the, the church van. van. The church van. And then you got the one with the donkey and the cows. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Uh, then you get, that's all three of them. Yeah, that's, that's there it is. See? And then, then you've got nosebleeds and poo. Yeah. <laughs> nosebleeds and poo. My favorite song. It's a country western song. And um, One of them died before I was born. Oh, that was an uncle. <laughs> oh, I think it just hit my ear. Oh, and then decapitated great-grandparents. Yeah. And... It's just a, it's a gold, your, your life is a gold mine, and that, that's why you just need to, you know, Louis Anderson made his fortune talking about his strange family. Yeah, I don't know. If you I, know? I don't know if I would want to make my family infamous in that regard. I don't think any of them would appreciate it. Well, I mean, they might. I guess I'm already doing it, though. You kind of are. You're starting out. This is the first step, this show. Covertly. This show is the first step. And in, in, in what will be uh, uh, many steps, a long line of ex- exposing your family for their immense entertainment and humor that makes us all very happy. Uh, makes Sheila the happiest human being on the face of the earth. Yeah, um, I guess. I don't, do you think she would actually appreciate that story of stealing a church van? Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I, is there it's any? It's not really on par with any of the other. Well, things. I mean, like, is there any? Is there it's any? Like the cow and the donkey takes the cake. <laughs> that one was the. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was everybody's favorite for sure. But it was my personal favorite too. It it was a great story, and I think. Oh God, I I gotta. I don't know if I gotta throw up or what. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> it was a great story. This 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 is not as exciting as that particular story, um, but it's still on par with just the utter strangeness, you know. It's just a, it's just another little detail. It's another little detail, and let me tell you something. That detail goes a long way, and um, I'm just saying. Think about it. Think or, about writing a screenplay. Think about writing a script. I don't know. I mean, she would laugh when I told her that one of my ass was beat me with a belt. <laughs> the one, the donkey and the cow one. And why again did she be doing that? I think she had just finished cleaning her house and I made a mess. Oh, did you make a doogie? No, just made a mess. Made a doogie hauser? No, just, just made a mess. Made a doogie hauser, didn't you? I think when she just retold, when she told the story to me again... She said, "Yeah, you acted like I wasn't going to do anything when you mess when you made a mess." And I did. You did? Yeah. And well, no, she like she did. She's like, "I did. I did something about you mess messing." It. That's that's for sure. She beat the living crap out of your double I don't remember it though. I I almost question if it's even real. 
because I, I mean, I do remember a period of my life when I was afraid of belts. <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, if somebody walked into a, uh, just walked into like, uh, like a room wearing a belt. I mean, I would actively avoid that person. Oh, that's right. You told us that. Yeah. No, don't show my gut. No, okay. I'm, I'm, this is happening. I don't want to. This no. is happening. No. Oh, stop. I don't want to. People, you, you, you all be, you, really you need to show the video, but no. I want to do a comparison uh, of just how much that they, that that guy looks like you. And then, of course, I'm going to put the one, uh, the doppelganger of you in the future. Uh, What's the one of me in the future? Oh, David Crosby. Hey, yeah, that's you. <laughs> Yay. Oh, we have fun here. So these are your doppelgangers. Fine. But you have you had a legitimate like psychological thing about belts. Yeah, yeah, I vaguely remember it as I mean I remember my aunt threatening me with the belt. <laughs> what well, uh, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that, but I would say that's a very prominent memory. And uh yeah, I, I mean I remember specifically. <laughs> and that just and that just stuck with you. Yeah, I I remember afterwards it's just if someone was just wearing a belt and around me, I would actively avoid that person. Well, I don't blame you. You made the right. You made the right call. Uh, eh. I mean, I I got hit with a belt a couple of times. I, I my parents were really big on that, but I, apparently a couple of times I made them mad enough that they did it, and uh, I feel it was not when, fun. I feel bad when I hear my coworkers' stories because apparently they got it pretty f frequently as children. Oh. Really? Yeah, I mean, I, I, one of them, he, he told a specific story where, uh, like, whoever it was who was hitting him with was like, yeah, and don't cry. Don't, <laughs> don't cry. Cause sure. Because then I'll really give you something uh, to cry then about. I'll, then I'll. He's like, yeah, and I mean, she was going like 12 years a slave on me <laughs> and, and telling That's me not, to not cry. Oh, God, <laughs> that's not right. Uh, 12 years a slave. That's funny, though. But that's wrong. That's yeah, it's wrong for a lot of reasons, but ah, there's Eloise Cole staring back at us. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh goodness. So do what else? Have, do we have to spread it all over social media? Um, yes. I don't want I don't want people to know what I look like. Uh, they already do. Because of my Facebook account, but I mean, they I already, only have like a hundred friends. They already do. So only, only through my social media account. Not our. Our fans don't. No, they yes they do. I've used How? your pictures before. Oh well, yeah. I guess I've that's used true. I've used all of our pictures at one point. So I mean, everybody knows. I guess that's true. Anybody who that's, pays attention to that's our what pages, I look like uh, as a middle aged man. As a middle aged man and an old man. Yeah. What? Well, yeah, I want to say I want to say the guitar player is about ten years older than me, maybe a little bit older. It's a possibility. Maybe you're the same age. No, that? we're not the same age. I know That'd we're not the amazing, same age. That would be an amazing thing. I know he's older, but I'm not sure by how much. I want to say about 10 years. Mm. He's from Georgia. <laughs> I I'm I would seriously look into seeing if he's related so, to you somehow. Because that that's... that's Yeah, I can... I can that's I can some get, madness, I can, man. I can uh, get, get into some of that sweet death metal money. They, because y yeah. after all, they make money. Black Dahlia! You're making that, making it rain up at Port Sal.